Look, y'all make sure that y'all hit my like button. It's free to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel. And we about to get into this raw and uncut. I'm not fit to waste no time on this one, y'all. You think he's protecting himself and protecting his record, protecting that zero, and that's why he doesn't want to step in there because he knows what type of fire you are? A little bit. That has something to do with him. A little bit, but at the same time, I just think like... You know, he thinking the big picture. Like, if I take a chance like this, I need to be getting paid as much money as possible just in case if I lose. He's talking about he want to fight this guy and fight this guy, so he's going to be the A side, you know. He don't want a 50-50 fight. Well, that, that just lets you know right now he's not 100% confident in his own abilities. You know, he can say what he want. The, the, the casual fans can say what they want. But me... You know, if I'm confident in my abilities, I'm like, okay, we can we can do it. You know, it don't matter if it's 50-50 or not. I know I'm going to win, so I don't have nothing to lose. See, I played that clip for y'all so y'all can see how much a fraud Terrence Crawford is. He talking about, oh, Errol Spence, he don't believe in his abilities because if it was me, I would do this and I don't care about the money. If it was me, I wouldn't care about 50-50. I'll take less money because I just want to show how good I am and then I'm better fighter because I know I'm confident in my abilities. I don't think that man is confident in his abilities, you know, because if he get in the ring with me, he wants to make sure that he gets a whole lot of money for doing it because he not sure that he can beat me you know he wanted to keep his own and now what do we have now what do we have now y'all everything that Terrence Crawford was saying when Errol Spence brought the fight to his <laughs> face it said you know what let's make it happen I'm right here. I'm sick of all that shit you talking. I'm coming to take your scraps. I want everything you got and I'm gonna beat your ass. What happened? Listen to what Terrence Crawford was saying. What happened? Everything that he was saying and putting on Errol Spence, he did just that. When the negotiations started to happen, what happened? Oh, I want this and I want that. If I'm gonna fight Errol Spence, I want to make this. I want to see the books. I want this and I want that. See, the man is a fraud and he's a walking contradiction and he's not about nothing that he say he about. That audio that I just played to y'all proves that Terrence Crawford is a fraud and his whole career has been built off of fraudulent narratives, right, and smoking mirrors. When they ran with a whole campaign that Errol Spence was afraid of him on ESPN and he ran with that knowing it was a lie, when they ran with a whole campaign that nobody wanted to fight Terrence Crawford, everybody was ducking Terrence Crawford when him and everybody over there knew it was a lie. Now y'all see, in time, the truth will come to light. And this is the truth that y'all seeing right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the truth that y'all seeing right here. It ain't nothing about Terrence Crawford the truth. This man's whole career has been built on fraudulent shit. Fighting Rudy Poops, getting the biggest bag. And what is he doing now? He ducked Errol Spence to fight another Rudy Poop because they was giving him a big bag to do it. <laughs> I mean, I can't make this shit up. The audio don't lie. That's Terrence Crawford's voice that I played for y'all. And now Errol Spence is saying, look, he fighting another fraud and I don't even know this man. If he wanted to tune up, he could have fought way back in April or May, right? I fought in April. He could have fought in April like I did, or he could have fought a month or two after I did. But you know what? Terrence Crawford refused to take a tune up because PBC was offering him guys like Keith Thurman or Jerron Boots Ennis, but he ain't want no smoke because he looked at them and said, you know what? Nah. I don't want no fight like that. That's too tough. You feel what I'm saying? This man, everything that he said Errol Spence is not, is everything that he ain't. He not confident in his abilities. You dig what I'm saying? That's why he was making all type of excuses when they was trying to make the fight happen. This the same man that told you he would take less and he ain't care about the money. He just wanted to show that he was the better fighter because he was confident in his ability. 
Now, any of that shit that he said, did he live up to anything that he said in that interview? He didn't live up to nothing he said in that interview because he was talking all that shit, but they called his motherfucking bluff. They called his bluff. Talking all of that stuff, and they called his bluff, and now he turned out to be a whole fraud. A whole fraud. Didn't live up to none of that stuff he was talking on that interview. And you know, I'm going to take my hats off to any man that go out there and get some easy money. You know what I'm saying? Any black man that can go out there and get some easy money. But hey, I can't respect it because you the one that said that you would do this, this, and that. And you was confident in your ability. And you would fight Errol Spence. It didn't matter about the money. But as soon as they put some money in your face, right? You did some low down dirty shit. You left that man out in the cold while he was trying to do everything he could to get the fight done, negotiating with your weird ass. And you ran off to fight another bum like you always do your whole career. And now you go, you, now you expect this man to wait around for you instead of 147. You know that man ain't waiting around for you. That's what you wanted. You wanted the man to move up so you could run around, act like you the boogeyman again, right? Act like, oh man, he moved, he ran for me. He moved up to 154. Man, your whole career is fried, man. You a fried ass nigga, right? Real talk. This dude is fried. And everybody running around blaming it on Blue Blood Sports TV. I'm not blaming it on Blue Blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to blame it on Blue Blood because, you know, hey, Blue Blood is a man. He want to do his business. He trying to get his pockets right. He trying to get his money. And it is what it is. Blue Blood can't make Terrence Crawford do nothing. Now, what I do believe is when Blue Blood uh, met Terrence Crawford or saw Terrence Crawford at the 7-Eleven, after the whole situation calmed down between the two, I think Blue came at him on some business shit. Like, hey, I'm partnership with, with BLK Prime, and we got a whole lot of money. We looking into putting it into a fighter, right? We got a whole lot of money on the table. Won't you just hear what we got to offer you? And if you like it, you know, hey, you can come and do some business with us. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. I think that Terrence Crawford, you know, he gave Blue Blood a call or, or whoever, you know what I'm saying, that Blue Blood is working with. He gave him a call to see what they was talking about. And once he heard that it was $10 million on the table, immediately Errol Spence, that was off the table for him because he didn't want to have to go in there and fight Errol Spence anyway. He ain't want to have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Not if he can make a big, huge bag fighting the Rudy Poop. See, Terrence Crawford is not about fighting the best competition. This man is always telling you, oh, man, I can go to the Hall of Fame right now. That lets you know he don't care about who on his resume. You feel me? Bob Arum already told us that all he cares about is the bag. Bob Arum told us, look, if I bring a Josh Taylor fight to his attention and show him that he can make a whole lot of money in the UK fight Josh Taylor, that's who he'll fight. That's who he'll fight. He won't even fight Errol Spence. He'll go fight Josh Taylor. And the only reason that Josh Taylor shit ain't happening is because Josh Taylor got tied up with Daniel Kennehan and he can't even come over to the U.S. You know what I'm talking about? Josh Taylor, he, he tied up in some other shit. That's the only reason that shit wouldn't happen because he ain't worried about just like Bob Arum said. He said, Terrence Crawford is about the money. He's not about the competition or having tough fights. Bob Arum, his own promoter said that. Bob Arum also told you that this fight wasn't going to happen. He also told you that Terrence Crawford is very, very difficult to deal with when it comes to business. And we see all of that. And this David, you know what I'm saying, amnesia shit that he doing, it don't surprise me. Because if you look at his whole resume... It coincides with what he's done his whole career. Fight nobodies and get a big bag doing it. Or fight, you know what I'm saying, fight dudes when they washed up or lower level competition and getting a big bag doing it. All that shit you talked about, EJ, EJ is the opposite. That man is the real truth. You far from the truth. You know what I'm saying? Pound for pound, what? Y'all keep telling me this nigga pound for pound number one. 
He ain't nobody pound for, he shouldn't be nobody pound for pound number one with a resume like that and pulling fake ass moves like that. Just like Errol Spence said, man, if you sit, if you wanted a tune up, you could have been took a tune up, but you was turning down fights and you was insisting on you didn't want a tune up. You feel me? And then for everybody running around, oh, well, man, Terrence Crawford, he didn't want to have to sit out and wait. That's his problem. He chose to sit out and wait. They could have been had the fight done if it wasn't for him whining and crying about he want this and want that. And when they gave him everything that he wanted, when they redid the, uh, the term sheet and put everything that he was asking for in it, that man went silent for 15 days. And now we know why he went silent for two weeks. Because he was cutting a backroom deal to fight a Rudy Poot, something that he been wanting to do to get a bag for it. You feel me? So this ain't about no Blue Blood Sports TV. And shout out to Blue. You know what I'm saying? I hope the event is successful just be on the strength of Blue Blood. This is about Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? This been his whole MO. Now you expect Errol Spence to wait around for you. Man, that man ain't waiting around for you. You know what I'm talking about? Why would Errol Spence wait around for you at 147 pounds when he been telling us for years that he wants to move up? For years, he's been saying it's hard for him to make the weight. Now you want him to wait around for you. And then if he waits around for you, and then you get to doing the same bullshit again, and the fight don't happen because of you. Because you really don't want to fight. If you wanted to fight, the fight would be happening. So yeah, man, uh, I don't want to even hear nothing from Terrence Crawford. You feel what I'm saying? The dude is a fraud. He been exposed. His skirt been pulled up. He didn't want to fight Errol Spence. And he ain't never wanted to take the top competition ever in his whole career. You feel what I'm saying? This fight ain't going to happen. Errol Spence, go ahead and do what you got to do at 154 and continue your career. And don't hold off your shit no more for this fraud ass dude. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure that y'all hit the like button. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again and I'm gone.